Hi, this is Mo Volans for Point Blank Music School, and we're currently looking at the excellent Final Touch by Positive Grid for the iPad. Now, this is an awesome mastering system, and we've already looked at all the individual processes, but now we're going to take a look at some of the hidden features that are under the hood that are going to help you get the most out of the app. More specifically, in this video, we're going to take a look at presets, how to save them, and also how to export your mix to different formats and different platforms. So here we are in Final Touch with our track. And I'm pretty much at the end of my mastering process with this one. I've got the processes in that I want and I'm just about ready to export the final result. Now before I do that, I want to show you how to save a preset. So say you have got a collection of processes like this and you want to save your configuration for, for use with a later project. You can do that by going to preset and then you can add a folder. So let's go to add and we can say new presets say done and we can go into that folder and we can hit save and I can put new master now if we close the preset folder down and we reopen it and we go into new presets this can be opened at any point just by clicking on it as can any of the rest of the presets that come supplied with Final Touch. So if you want a good starting point, this is the place to look. You've got genre-based presets, general purpose presets, all kinds of different things going on in here for you to have a look at and to experiment with to understand how mastering patches are built. With everything in place, we want to export the results. So we want to click on this icon to the right of the name of the file, and it's going to give us some choices of where we can export our file to. Now I choose to export to Dropbox and it's going to give us some options and it's going to give us these options no matter what format we choose and we can name it so we could change it from pre-mastered to mastered. It automatically puts mastered on the end but I'm just going to retype that and then we can choose the sample rate. I'm going to go with 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bit and I'm going to keep it with WAV. Once we've chosen all these options we can hit export and we can just choose a folder to export it to and then hit upload. And it's gonna export and upload at the same time. So everything's done for you. And when you're finished, you can check your Dropbox on a separate computer uh, and you can drag that file in. You can even check it on another iOS device. So I've done this and then checked the, the file on my iPhone. So it's really fast and you've got a lot of different options here, what, you know, where to send your files and how to upload them. But that's essentially how you export a track in Final Touch. Next up, we're going to take a look at some more features and I'm going to show you inter-app audio, uh, how to get audio from other applications and also from external audio interfaces to be fed through Final Touch and give you the option to process that audio in real time. 